Welcome to Prejim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 13 of ASP.NET video series. In this session, we'll learn about the properties, methods and events of an ASP.NET hyperlink control. The ASP.NET hyperlink control is used to create a link to another web page. Let's look at an example. Here I have a simple ASP.NET web application project. Let's drag and drop the hyperlink control from the toolbox. To get to the properties of the hyperlink control, select that, right click and select properties. So we know that a hyperlink control is used to create a link to another web page. So obviously when you click the hyperlink, you are going to another web page. So you will have to specify to which you will have to go to when you click that hyperlink. So navigate URL is the property that we use for that purpose. So this is the most important property of the hyperlink control. So let's say I want to navigate to prajimtech.com. So http colon forward slash forward slash prajimtech.com. Here we are actually navigating to an external website. It's also possible using the hyperlink you can navigate to another page within your application and to do that click the ellipsis button which will display all the web forms within your application. Now currently in our application we only have one web form so that's listed here but then if you have more than one web form all of them will be listed here and then you can select the form web form to which you want to navigate to when you click this hyperlink. Alright, so now let's go ahead and run this. So the web page should be rendered with the hyperlink control. But the first thing that you will notice is that the hyperlink does not have a meaningful name. So you, if you want to give the meaningful name to the hyperlink control, then there are two ways to do that. One is you can actually type that link name between the opening and closing tags of the hyperlink control. Or you can actually use the text property. So text is equal to, let's say, click here to go to Prajim Tech website. So now when we run this, that meaningful name should be displayed instead of that generic hyperlink, you know, text. So when we click this now, we should be navigated to prajimtech.com. Now observe that we are, we are being navigated in the same window. We will see later how to change this behavior. Alright, so, so far we have seen two important properties of the hyperlink control. The text property, which is basically used to specify the link text that we show to the user. Navigate URL, the URL of the page to which the user will be sent to when they click that hyperlink. Now, at times, let's say I want to, instead of displaying the text hyperlink, I want to display an image. Is that possible with the hyperlink control? Absolutely. All you have to do is use the image URL property. Okay, so now if you look at this, it's displaying this text. I don't want that. I want an image to be displayed. So obviously if you want an image to be displayed, uh, you will have to include that image within your application. So I have an image here. So I want to copy this image into my application. So let me copy that and let's create a new folder so that in that folder we can have all of our images. So let me call this images folder and I'm going to copy this image into that folder. So paste it. So now I have this image which I want to show instead of this text. So go to the properties window of the hyperlink control and select the image URL. Click the ellipsis button, go to the images folder and you should see that image and I select that click OK so now look at this instead of the text it's actually showing that image there now if you flip to the source mode look at that image URL is equal to there's a special character here the tilde character and tilde character within ASP.NET has got special meaning okay it indicates that it indicates the root directory of your web application project. So here, the root directory for our web application project is controls demo. So this still symbol is saying, okay, go to the root directory of this web application project. From there, find the images folder. And within the images folder, find this presumetech.png. No matter where you are in the folder hierarchy, if you include tilde character, you're telling your application to go to the you know, web application root directory and then from there you are specifying the path. Alright, 
So now when we run this, instead of the link text, it will display the link image. And obviously when we click, click that, we should be navigated to prajimtech.com. So image URL, the URL of the image that will be displayed for the link. If you specify both the text and the image URL, the image will be displayed instead of the text. Okay, so the image URL property will have higher precedence over the text property. Okay, so and if for some reason the image is not available, then the text will be displayed as a backup. So let's say, you know, for some reason maybe somebody deleted this image or, you know, we have a, an image name that's not present within our web application project. Now if we run this, since we don't have that image with that name, you know, the link text, the hyperlink text will be used as a backup there. In fact, the text will also be used as a tooltip in the browsers which will be which will support tooltip property. So that's the image URL. Now target, this is very important and useful property. Now so far, let's put this back to the right image name. So, so far, you know, when you click the URL, so this is the window. When I click this URL, the target web page actually opens up in the same window. Now, let's say I want that to be opening up in a new window. How do I do that? Using the target property. So, we can use the hyperlink target property. and you specify the target as blank. So when you specify the target as blank, the target web page will actually be displayed in its own window. So now when we run this, and when you click on the hyperlink, look at this, the target web page is actually opening up within its own window. So target, if target is not specified, the web page to which the hyperlink is linked will be displayed in the same window. If you set the target to underscore blank, the web page will be opened in a new window. So these are all the properties that the hyperlink control you know, supports. And uh, methods, there is a focus method. Just like how the text box, radio button, and checkbox control supports the focus method, the hyperlink control supports it in the same way. For example, if you want the hyperlink control to receive the focus as soon as the web page loads, then you can call this method on that hyperlink control. So here we just have the you know hyperlink control, but let's put an image, uh, a text box there so that we know the difference. So I have a text box there and let's go to the page load and here I'm saying hyperlink one, that's the ID of the hyperlink control, and on that I'm calling the focus method. So obviously when the page loads, so let's run this. So look at this, when the page loads, the hyperlink control is actually selected in the sense it has the focus. Now if I press enter, it's going to open automatically. I don't have to move my mouse and then click on that. Since the hyperlink control is actually receiving the focus on the page load, you can just press enter and the target web page will be opened in a new window since we have set the target to underscore blank. So that's the focus method. And then events. No events specific to hyperlink control are present actually. So to find out the events of the hyperlink control, we can select the hyperlink control, go to the properties and click on that lightning bull symbol. Look at this. All these are the regular control level events, but as far as the hyperlink is concerned, it doesn't have any specific events on its own. And then remember, you know, this hyperlink has got several properties. All these properties, we have seen how to set them during the design time. Okay, but then it's also possible to configure them, you know, at runtime using the code. Okay, so here I can say hyperlink one dot navigate URL. You can specify all these properties dynamically as well. And in addition to these standard, you know, these hyperlink properties, all the other standard, you know, ASP.NET control properties are available.
So if you go to the properties window, you now if you want to change maybe the font color, since we don't have a text here, the font color d doesn't really make sense. But if it's the text, then you can change the font color, font size, you know, all those standard properties that are available to every ASP.NET control are also obviously available to the hyperlink control. So you can change the font, full color, and all that. All right. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.